Hi, good morning to all. Shall we start the session? Is the screen visible? Okay. Thank you, Tanuja. So we'll start uh, today's class, which is syndrome decoding. So the last class uh, video I had shared to Sri Vishnu. So you can get access to, from him, the last class. Uh, recorded video session okay so to, in today's class we are going to see the syndrome decoding so this syndrome decoding is used at your receiver end for cyclic codes we are seeing the same concept of syndrome decoding in linear block codes so there we have done it as a linear blocking here we are going to do it as a cyclic so that is the difference so in cyclic codes errors occurs so these errors are to be detected as we are done in linear and those have to be corrected so how do we detect that and how do we correct that is a same principle relevant to our linear block codes so just a small shift of your cyclic principle will be introduced in the syndrome decoding so let us see so let us represent the received code vector as y and let us assume that E is an error vector as we had seen in linear block codes. So X will be Y exclusive or E. And we can rewrite this in the form of Y also. Y is equal to X exclusive E. So these two represents your transmitted code vector X and the received code vector Y. Okay, we can. If one is known, the other can be easily found out. Provided that the error bit is being found appropriately. If error is found appropriately, we can easily decode the corresponding X values. So in the polynomial form, we can write the above equations as Y of P is equal to X of P plus E of P. Since X of P is M of P into G of P, we know that X of P is generator polynomial g and mess message bits m of p so since x of p is equal to m of p into g of p we can get y of p is equal to m of p into g of p plus e of p so this becomes your decoding vector or the decoding polynomial at receiver so this is your uh, block diagram for uh, syndrome decoding or computation of uh, syndrome for an n comma k cyclic codes so we have a received code vector you can see the received signals y so it is given to a, a modulo 2 addition where yes not is your first sequence s1 is the second sequence still sq minus 1 so we have g1 g2 gq minus 1 so g1 if it is 1 we are seeing G1 is, is equal to 1 is a closed. G1, if it is 0, it is open. So depending upon that, we can find the output syndrome. So Q represents your stage shift register to generate Q bit syndrome vectors. So initially, all the shift, regist shift registers or the contents of the shift, shift registers will be always 0. And the switch is closed in position which is closed circuit will be equal to 1. So the received vector is shifted bit by bit into the shift register. 
the contents of the flip flops keep on changing according to the input bits of y and values of g1 g2 till gq minus 1 after all the bits of y are being shifted q flip flops of the shift register contain only qubit syndrome vectors so the shift sorry the switch is then closed to position 2 and clocks are applied to the shift register then if we do like this we'll get the syndrome vector sq minus 1 sq minus 2 sq minus 3 sq minus 4 till s1 s0 till the last bit is obtained we'll get this syndrome so now let us see a problem such that this context you can understand better when we solve a problem okay so the question is design design a syndrome calculator for a 7 comma 4 cyclic hamming code generated by a polynomial so g of p is given p power 3 plus p plus 1 calculate the syndrome for some message they had given so they had given and uh, received vector y is equal to 1001101 which is the received code vector they had given y is equal to this so now as we are familiar in generating g of p we can write the given g of p as it is okay g of p is p power 3 plus p plus 1 so what is left out is p power 2 so in p power 2 we should substitute 0 so g of p is p power 3 plus 0 p power 2 plus p plus p power 1 plus 1 so now compare this with the generalized equation which we are familiar that we had done in the last class p power 3 plus g2 p square plus g1 p plus 1 p power 3 g2 p square plus g1 into p plus 1 so on comparing these two we can get g1 and g2 easily we'll get g1 and g2 very much easily so compare g1 with 1 into p1 so we get g1 is equal to 1 and g2 into which is of with the p powers 2 we get g2 is equal to 0 so simply take this d1 and g2 and substitute in this diagram so this block diagram so received code vector so the received code vector you can write y as it is so put a modular 2 addition s0 s1 s2 why you are writing only s0 s1 s2 is that you can refer this so from the 7 comma 4 cyclic code we can find n is equal to 7 k is equal to 4 thereby q is equal to n minus k which is equal to 3 so we get three syndromes so s0 s1 s2 only so put s0 s1 s2 so since g2 is 0 if you substitute that in the above block diagram since g2 is 0 we will be having only g1 so s0 modulo 2 addition s1 then straightly it gives to s2 so that is the diagram here so s0 and modulo 2 addition g1 will give s1 so whatever is present in s1 is s2 so then the remaining will be the output of the syndrome a switch between 1 and 2 that's all syndrome of output so any doubts in drawing this block diagram you can type in the chat box i'll check it, it now Okay, since there are no queries, I'll proceed further. Okay, the operation is that the switch will be kept in position 1, so which is in this position, switch will be connected to this one until all the 7 bits of the receipt vector y are shifted to the register. 
So why because why seven bits is that we are having seven comma four. So total will be seven. So till all the seven bits are being shifted to the syndrom output, the switch will be in position one only. Okay. So then the flip flops of the shift register contain syndrom vector when all bits y are shifted. Then the switch is then closed to position two after all the seven bits are being passed and clock pulses are applied to the shift register. This gives syndrome at the output. So some syndrome will be getting at the output. The following table, which I'll illustrate, shows the operation of the syndrome calculator for the received vector 1001101. So let us see. So let us see for y is equal to 1001101. How the operation takes place in syndrome. Initially, all the contents of the flip-flops in shift register will be zero. All will be zero. So initially, write everything as zero. So now, first we'll write, how do we get this S0? How do we get this S1? How do we get this S2? Let us determine that first. So how do we get S0? You can see that Y modulo to addition S2. So see the diagram. So S0 is Y. Y S0 is obtained from modulo to addition of Y as well as as well as S2. You can see. See this S2. S2 is going in this direction since switch is in position one. Switch is kept in position one. So S2 is going here. It is given to this and this. So S0 can be written as y modulo 2 addition s2 so that's what in the table s0 is equal to y modulo 2 addition s2 similarly i can write it for s1 so how do i get s1 is that s1 i get when g1 is 1 so g1 is 1 so 1 will be passing and another one is from where this g1 comes g1 comes from s2 so S2 goes to position one and it goes to input of S1 and another input is S0. So S1 is equal to S0 modulo to addition S2. You can see in the context. S1 is equal to S0 modulo to addition S2. So next. We had defined S0, we had defined S1. So next is S1, S2. After S1, it is S2. So how do you get S2? So there is only one, so which is S1. So S2 will be equal to S1 since G2 is equal to zero. So since there is no connection, so we get S2 is equal to S1. So this is how do we write the contents of flip-flops for each shift register, S0, S1, S2. If this is understood, the remaining is sending of the bits. How do we send the bits of Y? So any doubts or queries in determining S0, S1, S2? Let me check in chat box. S0, S1, S2. Okay, I'll proceed further. So after writing S0, S1, S2, Make sure you write all the Y bits. Y bits in sequence. So in sequence we have one zero zero one one zero one as in this table. So as in this table you write. As in this table you need to write. So one. Let us see for the 
first bit sequence of y which is 1 so give it to s not okay so give it to s not so s not is equal to y modulo 2 addition s2 so y is given as 1 what is s not you are not sure about s not so sorry you are not sure about s2 so s2 is here so bring this s2 here which is a shift so bring this s2 from the previous which is 0 so 1 plus sorry 1 modulo to addition 0 is 1 always so write it here so next next find s1 s1 will be s0 plus s2 s0 is what That's not in the previous. We should not see in the same state. In the previous, in the previous, it is zero. And S2 is zero. So zero, zero, you get zero. Then S2 is always S1. So this zero will come here. So in the next will be sending the second bit second bit of y is 0 so 0 so similarly find s0 so s0 will be y y is 0 s2 s2 in the previous is 0 so bring it that so 0 model position 0 is 0 so now i need to find s1 so s1 can be found from s0 and s2 so s0 from the previous it is 1 and from the previous s2 is 0 so 1 exclusive or 0 we get 1 and s2 is equal to s1 s2 is equal to s1 so see in the previous what is s1 s1 is 0 so that will come here okay so again send next next uh, y bit next y bit is 0 so then again do modulo tradition y exclusive s2 s2 in the previous is 0 so 0 0 we get 0 then in the next s1 take s0 and s2 in the previous so 0 and 0 we get 0 and uh, in s2 is equal to s1 in previous s1 is 1 so right it is same so similarly for the fourth bit fifth bit sixth bit and seventh bit if you perform this operations correctly you will get the syndrome which is at the last bit as one one zero so kindly check at the output you will get one one zero from this table So any doubts in or queries in doing this operation? In performing this calculation of syndrome for why any queries? Always when you perform an operation for s0 y would be your input sequence s2 would be your previous states contents similarly for s1 s0 and s2 would be your previous states contents here s1 also will be your previous states content only y of that corresponding only y would be taken of that corresponding message of the corresponding shift or the corresponding state let me check for any queries any queries for this table manipulation Okay, since 
no queries so i'll move on to the next computation so next computation is to find the syndrome value yes value so how do i find the syndrome value so at the end of the table at the end of the table we have the last shift register contents so the last shift register contents determines the contents of your syndrome so you can write yes not yes one yes two as it is so yes not yes one yes two is one one zero but our calculated syndrome is always written in let me show you is written in sq minus 1 sq minus 2 sq minus 3 sq minus 4 till s1 s0 so we should write it in this format for calculating syndrome so hence the format should be rewritten as s2 s1 s0 so we get 0 1 1 so this is your syndrome for this problem so hence we have designed a syndrome for the received y 1001101 this is your syndrome for this received bit of y so any queries so this is how we calculate syndrome it should be written in highest degree of q to the lowest degree of q so s2 s1 s0 0 1 1 is your syndrome so in some other examples they may give you a different uh, polynomial they may give you a different uh, g of p they may give you a different syndrome to calculate okay so let us go for decoder a decoder for cyclic codes so once the syndrome is calculated an error pattern is detected for that particular syndrome and when this error is added to the received vector y then we'll get the correct code vector if we had detected the syndrome syndrome is your error so we had found error 0 1 1 for this problem so then we'll use some pattern error pattern such that that error can be rectified easily okay so this is your uh, circuit or we generalized block diagram for a decoder or generalized cyclic codes a general cyclic code so we have inputs which is your input received from y so see here you can see received vector input s in goes there goes to your input and uh, the another input comes from your corrected vector it is also a switch from the buffer register which is obtained from received vector input so they are connected so then modulo 2 addition is performed and it is given to syndrome register so input bits all in sequences of y are given to this syndrome register so syndrome register will calculate the syndrome if error is there it will be given to the error pattern detector for detecting errors and it will be corrected okay if until all the bits are over the syndrome register will compute all and it will give the error pattern detector so we will have some combinatorial logic circuits for error pattern detection then all the inputs would be sent out through this s out to the corrected vector place 
so this is your decoding operation for any cyclic code so at most we are coming uh, um, we are coming to a short presentation on the advantages and disadvantages of cyclic codes we have advantages as well as disadvantages so the advantages is that the error correcting and decoding methods of cyclic codes are very much simpler and easy to implement they can eliminate the need for storage for lookup table decoding hence since the storage is being eliminated for lookup table decoding this becomes a powerful and efficient code also so this uh, encoders and uh, decoders are used for cyclic codes are very much simpler compared to non cyclic codes since the cyclic codes detect error successively the successive bits can be easily error detected so this decoding procedure becomes an important part in cycling decoding so error that that are being detected can be corrected easily also depending upon the g of p so the cyclic codes well defined mathematical structure hence very efficient decoding schemes are possible so though we have this many advantages of cyclic codes we have some disadvantages also <clears throat> so the disadvantage is that complexity though the error detection is very simple the correction is somewhat complicated and when we implement the combinational circuits in error correction they become very much complex okay so these are the advantages and disadvantages of cyclic codes so for this in order to avoid the uh, special or uh, sorry in order to avoid the complexity in the combinational circuits some special cyclic codes can be used so they they are as follows one is the gole codes which is 23 comma 12 cyclic code with uh, generating polynomial p power 11 p power 9 p power 7 p power 6 plus p power 5 plus p plus 1 can be used this can correct up to three errors we had discussed in uh, uh, some of the classes that how many bits of errors can be minimized or how many errors can be corrected in hamming distance we can detect two errors and correct one error in hamming distance codes whereas in gole codes with the 23 comma 12 cyclic code of generating polynomial p power 11 plus p power 9 plus p power 7 plus p power 6 plus p power 5 plus p power 1 plus 1 having a minimum distance of 7 can correct up to 3 errors so 3 errors can be corrected okay so that is your gole codes so next is your short end cyclic codes so the short end cyclic codes for an n comma k cyclic code will be using generator polynomials that are divisors we will use generator polynomials that are divisors of x power n plus 1 x power n plus 1 so the polynomial x power n plus 1 will have only few divisors hence there will be very few generator polynomials available so in order to overcome this the short end cyclic codes was being used so in the uh, last class somebody had asked me about uh, uh, the polynomial uh, equation so p power 7 plus 
we are done so we had only few devices for that and i forgot to send you how to factorize right factorization i'll send you somebody had asked, uh, asked me in the last class about uh, solving factors or solving factorization i forgot uh, i'll send you uh, by today or tomorrow how to make factorization so that factorization was a big difficulty in cyclic codes so they had gone for short end cyclic codes so by introducing the last i bits out of n bits the last i bits out of n bits of the code word were padded with zeros were padded with zeros and the i bits were not transmitted only n minus i bits of the code word were transmitted out of the total n they are, we had found only the i bits some of, some of the i bits of the last either 1 2 3 depending upon the problem so only those i bits were taken into consideration and they were padded with zeros so we called it a zero padding concept and then after zero padding them those i bits were not transmitted rather than that n minus i bits were transmitted and in the decoder part the i zeros to the received code vector were being used so instead of writing the cyclic codes as n comma k instead of writing the cyclic codes as n comma k we wrote n minus i comma k minus i which is your short end cyclic codes this short end cyclic codes has advantages of both the original n comma k code and it had the same error detection and correction capabilities as similar to the original n comma k cyclic codes only the factorization problem we said that device few devices are av available or only few generators are available for 7 comma 4 so that issue was solved by using short end cyclic codes n minus i k minus i okay so leave the burst error correcting codes i'll explain this burst error codes in the next presentation okay so meanwhile meanwhile we'll see a problem of cyclic codes how do you use this cyclic codes in along with a syndrome calculation or generation so this is also relevant to your burst error correcting so i'll explain you this burst error correcting in the next presentation okay so let us see a problem on syndrome decoding and uh, we'll be finding the transmitted data vector for the corresponding received code word okay so something is being received there are some errors in that uh, received code vector and how do we actually find what is being transmitted so that we are going to see as a problem in cyclic codes so at receiver we have will be getting some codes so that codes may have errors or may not have errors so that is to be detected first okay so the received code vector is 1101100 that may have errors or may not have errors so we should see what is the error what are the errors being present and how this error correcting capabilities of this code is there and thereby after finding the error we need to determine what was the actual data word being sent so the question is constructing a systematic 7 comma 4 cyclic code using the generator polynomial given g of x or g of p x power 3 plus x plus 1 if it is given in terms of p it could be g of p is equal to p power 3 plus p plus 1 variables variables also can be used so they are given in terms of x 
then we need to find what are the error correcting capabilities of this code construct the decoding table and for the received code word 11011100 And also, we should determine the transmitted data work. So let us see. From the given question, so from the given question, let us find n is equal to seven, k is equal to four. We can find q is equal to three. So first, let us determine the generator matrix. So generator matrix is G of P. G of P. So already we have done this uh, generator matrix generation. How do we do generator matrix? As in the previous problem. So since the polynomial is same, G of P is same. G of X is equal to X cube plus X plus one. So for this, we have done already. So we are recalling that here. In order to simplify the problem more easily, so G, which we had done already, so we are taking the same equation. Same matrix. Why? Because if I do again for finding generator matrix, we need to take all the messages. i need to perform what i should find reminder for every seven bits so the same what we had done in the earlier class same procedure has to be done so from that we'll get g g is equal to this and now next we need to find construction of code vectors construction of a code vector so the code vector can be obtained as X is equal to m g. X is equal to m g. So now let us consider. Let us consider uh, the m value to be zero one zero one. So I am taking. You can take anything. It doesn't matter. So zero one zero one. So m is that g is given in equation three point four point seven point seven five. Take that. Put it here. Do. Matrix manipulation, and you know that first row with first column, that row with second column, that row with third, that row with fourth, that row with fifth columns, that row with sixth column, that row with seventh column, and doing modulo to addition of each of them will give us x value. Okay, so x value will get so x is equal to zero one zero one one zero zero. And we also know that the check bits are the last three bits. We also know that the check bits are the last three bits. One zero zero one zero zero is your check bits. Now, from the G matrix, we need to find P sub matrix. The P sub matrix is this. This is your identity matrix, I four cross four or I of identity matrix. This is your identity matrix. Okay. So the P sub matrix is this: one zero one 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 zero zero one one. So P matrix is found. Do do find C one, C two, C three. So C1, C2, C3 can be found out as M0, M1, M2, M3 into that P sub matrix, P matrix. So we'll get C1 is equal to M0, M1, M2. Modulo to addition, C2 will be uh, M1, M2, M3. C3 will be M0, M1, M3. So this is your check bits. So for the check for the same check bits also, we had done a systematic code word generation. We had done systematic code word generation, 
and you can refer that in the problem also. So the same table we'll get. So from the table, we'll get that the error correction capability will be, so not, uh, yeah. From the table, we'll get that the minimum weight, yeah, it is minimum weight. So the minimum weight from the table, we'll get it as three. So from three, D minimum is equal to three. We can detect, we can detect that there would be two errors. We can detect up to two errors and correct only one error in this problem. So the parity check matrix is given by. Next is what we need to find is your parity check matrix. Let us find the parity check matrix. So the parity check matrix can be obtained by H is equal to P transpose IQ. So P transpose is transpose of this. You can write then IQ. So IQ is identity matrix. Then take the whole transpose of that H. We get H transpose is equal to P IQ. So we'll get H transpose is equal to 101, 111, 110, 011, 100, 010, 010, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,
v of p is also given in the question p power three p plus one p power three plus p plus one so do division since it is is your it is your systematic we are finding remainder of that so i'll show you that You can see this is the division procedure, as we had done in the systematic codes. So kindly refer this division. You all are familiar, I think so. Then kindly go through this. If you have any doubts, put in the chat box. And at last, I'll say how to find the transmitted code vector. Let me check in the chat box for any queries. Okay, I'll give you two or three minutes time. Try to solve this division and find whether you're getting this reminder as p power two plus one. Check that.
okay so i would like to move further so after the division of y of p divided by g of p i may get a reminder okay if i get a reminder that indicates that there is a syndrome or there is an error okay so i can find the reminder is that reminder is p power 2 plus 0 p plus 1 so we can write in terms of syndrome as s is equal to 1 0 1 so since p power 2 is there so in the place of that we can write 1 since 0 p is there so in the place of that 0 since it is 1 so in the place of that 1 so the syndrome is non zero if it is a non zero the syndrome is non zero it is obviously stating that there is an error in that okay so there so there is an error okay so now this 101 syndrome 101 we should see where it occurs so this 101 101 of the syndrome vector 101 occurs in the first row of h transpose so first row of h transpose or it indicates that the first bit is error so the first bit is error so hence the error vector will be 1 0 0 0 0 0 first bit first bit is your error so that bit i should write it as 1 remaining all zeros so from this we can find the corresponding data code or the data word which is being transmitted by using a simple logic x is equal to y exclusive or operation e or modulo to addition e so y modulo to addition e so y is what is the received vector which is being given in the question so 111100 modulo to addition 1 6 zeros so which is your e so when you do modulo to addition we get x is equal to x is equal to 01011100 so this x value which you had obtained is a code word which is also a code vector in the table so we had found we had found we had constructed the decoding table we had found what is the error code error correcting capability by error detection two errors can be detected one error can be corrected so what is that error bit we had found we had found it that is the first bit is the error and we had corrected it also so our x value which is to be found out or this we need to determine the transmitted data word we had found it also so x is equal to 0101100 0, so this is your solution for this problem any queries or any doubts this is why we were very slow at the beginning of this unit such that you understand this decoding or error correcting capabilities how to determine determine error correcting capabilities how to find code vectors in systematic nature or in systematic form we are we were slow there so now the reason for that you have understood since all the doubts and queries were addressed there itself you didn't get any doubts here now let us see and 
another problem let us see another type of problem another type of problem is a binary message sequence 1001 is coded 1001 is coded means the message signal represents that it is m of p we need to write in terms of m of p okay is coded with a generator polynomial so generator polynomial is g of p so p power 3 plus p plus 1 is your generator polynomial so assuming that it is a cyclic coding with systematic okay with systematic assuming a systematic cyclic coding determine the length of the coded sequence see here in this question n of k is not given keep in mind n of k is not given we have to find the n of k okay that is what the length of the code sequence and we need to find the transmitted code word what is the transmitted code word for 1001 and uh, they are giving another addition is that there is an error in the fourth bit they are saying that there is an error in the fourth bit in the received vector and they are asking us to find syndrome draw the hardware for its syndrome generation so let us see how to do this so this is a challenging problem as a new learner for you it would be a challenging problem because n of k itself is not given if n of k is known only i can proceed further right so how do we proceed is that if you know how to find n of k remaining is all easier for you right remaining all would be easier so let us see how do we find this n of n comma k first n separately k separately right so first try down the generator polynomial as given p power 3 plus p plus 1 write the message sequence message sequence is 1 0 0 so from the message sequence we can identify from the message sequence you can identify the length of the message sequence so since there are four bits 1 0 0 1 since there are four bits k is equal to 4 so we have found 4 and since the degree of generator polynomial is highest degree see the highest degree of generator polynomial is 3 so we get q is equal to 3 so there will be 3 Check bits in coded sequence. So Q is equal to three, K is equal to four. Now we can easily find. Now we can easily find right n value. So Q is equal to n minus K. From that on rewriting we get n is equal to K plus Q. So K is four, Q is three, which is seven. So the length of this code sequence is seven comma four. cyclic codes so which is our first aim our first determination length of the coded sequence 7 comma 4 cyclic codes so any doubts in this determination of length of coded sequence i'll wait for 2 or 3 minutes for your queries then i'll proceed for the next
Okay, since there are no queries, I'll proceed further. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so next is to determine transmitted code value. So we know the formula for finding check bits. Why? Right? Because only once we find the check bits, then we can easily find transmitted code vector. So since it is systematic codes, we need to use this procedure. So finding remainder of P power Q into M of P divided by G of P. So to obtain P power Q into M of P, first write M of P. M of P will be P power 3 plus 0 P square plus 0 P plus 1. So that into P power Q. So Q is 3. So P power 3. So P power 3 into P power 3 plus 0 P power 2 plus 0 P plus 1. So manipulate, we get p power 6 plus 0 p power 5 plus 0 p power 4 plus 0 p power 3. So now divide this, divide this p power 6 plus 0 p power 5 plus 0 p power 4 plus p power 3 by g of p. So g of p is p power 3 plus p plus 1. So we can rewrite it also as p power 3 plus 0 p square, sorry, 0 p power 2 plus p power 1 plus 1 so do division if you do division we will get a reminder so reminder is p power 2 plus p power 1 so write it so reminder is p power 2 plus p so we get the c value as 1 1 0 1 1 0 for the message 1001. So the systematic form for the message which is given, see our message. See our message is 1001. So for 1001, we had found the check bit or the check bits information as 110. So write it in sequence. So you will get. You will get the required transmitted code word. You will get the required transmitted code word as 1001110, which is our second determination. Which is our second determination. So now In the question, we have found one, we have found two. We need to find answer for three. Huh. Three is assume fourth bit in the received code received word is an error. Fourth one is an error. Okay. So for if fourth one is an error, from the decoding table we can easily write error as zero 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 one. See, this is the fourth bit. So zeros three zeros so three zero one three zeros we get so what is the syndrome for this so let us see so since fourth bit is the error let us see the table so this is also systematic so i'm so only i'm referring this so fourth bit is error is this serial number five so fourth bit three zeros one three zeros syndrome vector is zero one one so zero one one is the syndrome so syndrome you can write s is equal to 0 1 1 which is the fourth row of h transpose fourth row of h transpose now <clears throat> after syndrome is obtained after syndrome is obtained Okay, write it s is equal to 0, 1, 1. Okay. We need to draw the diagram for that. Diagram for syndrome generation. So, for syndrome generation, we need to 
write the identity matrix. We need to write identity matrix since Q is equal to three. First, write the identity matrix. So one zero 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 one zero 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 one and keep it as it is. Let it be. Let it be. Yeah. Keep this identity matrix as separate. Let it be. I'll tell you the last. Okay. So now, how to draw the diagram for syndrome generator? Write the given generator polynomial. We know the generator polynomial. Let us go back just a moment. Let us go back to the generator polynomial. Yeah, generator polynomial is p power 3 plus 0 p power 2 plus 0 p power 1 plus 1. So write it like this and compare it with the generalized equation that we are familiar. Okay, we are familiar with g of p is equal to p power 3 plus g2 p power 2 plus g1 p power 1 plus 1 plus 1. So compare we get g2 is equal to 0 g1 is equal to 1. So accordingly draw the diagram. Okay. So g2 will not be there since it's an open g2 will be 0 so no connection. So remaining syndrome s0 will be there s1 will be there s2 will be there. As we have drawn the diagram in syndrome generation. So syndrome generator for 7 comma 4 cyclic codes with generating polynomial p3 plus p plus 1. So this is the required syndrome generator. So any doubts? Any doubts? I'll give you two, uh, five minutes time. Let, uh, let, you take, let, let us take five minutes time. If you have any doubts, you can put in the chat box. So the same diagram, what we have drawn now, just for the about half an hour back, we had seen this diagram, how to generate. Same diagram, we need to draw it again. Because in the question, the question is asked that, draw the hardware block for the diagram. Draw the hardware block. I'll give you five minutes time, go through this solution. If you have any doubts, put in chat box.
since why we didn't take uh, g per g no g4 g not g not is always one when we compare compare these two see the generalized formula on comparison g not we don't have g not at all though you check the diagram we don't have g not we'll have only g1 and g2 so that is why g not is being not compared or not taken g4 is not there because we don't have q values to be as five okay you can see the question is q is equal to 3 we get q is equal to 3 so if q is equal to 3 the degree of polynomial will start from p power 3 okay understood if q is equal to 5 then only we will get g3 into p power 3 and uh, g4 into p power 4 we'll get that you can see that g3 itself we didn't get okay this the reason is the generalized equation for generating polynomial for generating polynomial the generalized equation starts with the degree of polynomial okay since q why we don't get q is that why we don't get is the q is equal to 3 Q is equal to three. We get p power three plus p power two in a generalized way. P power one plus p power zero. Q is equal to three. So in the same case, if if you get Q is equal to five, so how many will you get? You will get p power five plus p power no, plus P power four plus P power three plus P power two plus P power one. If Q is equal to five, in this case, in this problem, Q is equal to five. Q is equal to five. You will get G four. Uh, okay obviously g3 also will not get if q is equal to 4 okay if q is equal to 4 you will get g3 yeah if q is equal to 4 we get p power 4 plus g3 p power p plus g2 P power two plus e power one e power one plus e if q is equal to four, this you will get. Yeah, if q is equal to four, then only we will get. No, the generalized equation is starts from the degree of polynomial only, p power four. If you want to get q uh, g of four in the question itself, it should be given in terms of q is equal to five. We won't get g g four, so that's what uh, I'll show you. I'll show you the generalized equation. Let me check. Where is it? That's all. in this problem also you can see g of p is p power 3 plus g2 p power 2 plus g1 p plus 1 is the generalized equation for q is equal to 3 i'll show you the generalized equation for generating polynomial okay if generating polynomial general equation if you see you'll get 
will get the correct idea as how to generate. Let me show you that equation. Yeah. So in this problem also you can see the generating polynomial is p power q plus g of q minus 1, p of q minus 1 plus g of q minus 2, p of q minus 2 till g1 of p plus 1. can see this validating generating polynomial generating polynomial is this equation g of p. or still further i can give you yeah. equation 3.4.32 is your generating polynomial or the generator matrix g of p how to how do we generate that So this equation this equation 3.4.32 is the equation for generating problem we will get g1 of values g2 of values g3 g4 g4 g5 depending upon each and every problem okay Thank you, Sai Shrikar. Okay, any other questions or doubts? Because this cyclic codes is an important concept. Okay. Shall we proceed for the next presentation? So with this, this is all. This, this presentation is completed. Part two of unit four is over. So after the second part of unit four, the last part, which is very, very short and uh, sweet, I think. So it will be very short as compared to the other, other two presentations. OK. So we'll see that. OK. Unit four. I had just given you an introduction of what Gole codes was. Short end cycle Gole codes. Then the last two topics: cyclic product codes and the quasi cyclic codes. We are going to see all those in this presentation
I would expand you about this, this Gole quotes, introduction, short and cyclic quotes. So this is how do we get Gole quotes. Diagram, syndrome calculation, the computation, even for short end, and how it is being drawn, then for cyclic products, and quasi cyclic codes. So all these things will be saying in this presentation. Okay. So let us start with the Gole codes. So as discussed earlier, the Gole codes with a minimum distance of seven is the only known multiple error correcting binary perfect codes. So I said that just a small introduction again, 23 comma 12 Gole codes with the minimum error correcting code. I said in an introduction. So this is the only multiple error correcting binary perfect code. So this can be put in cyclic form also. And hence it can be encoded and decoded based on its cyclic property by either this polynomial. So x power 11, x power 10, x power 6, x power 5, x power 4, x power 2 plus 1 of generator polynomial g1 of x or by x power 11, x power 9, x power 7, x power 6, x power 5, x plus 1 of generator polynomial g of 2. So g2 of x. So where these are being obtained by the factors x power 23 plus 1. So we had seen x power uh, n plus 1. So that concept. So factorization two factorizations. So either by using g1 of x or g2 of x, we can easily trap the errors and we can correct them in the factorizations. So for example, if you have a two error patterns or if you have three error patterns, we can use the concept of e of x, which is equal to x power 11 plus x power 22. x power 11 plus x power 22. For determining the errors of double error and triple errors. So that can be done by this error pattern. Okay. So we will see how do we design this Gole code. So the Gole code can be easily decoded by Kasemsi's error trapping technique. So by using this following principle. So the following principle is by considering phi 1 of x is equal to 0. So which you had seen g1. Okay, g1. Phi 2 of x is equal to x power 5, which is g2. So phi 3 of x is equal to x power 6, g3. So consider the generator polynomial. Consider the generator polynomial. Any of the two. So here I'm taking g1 of x. So g1 of x has 1 plus x square plus x power 4 plus x power 5 plus x power 6 plus x power 10 plus x power 11. So Dividing this phi 1 of x and phi 2 of x and phi 3 of x, we'll get the following reminders. Okay, so divide this phi 1 of x of g1 of x, g1 of x divided by phi 1 of x, we'll get p1 of x. Divide this phi 2 of x with g1 of x, we get reminder as p2 of x, and I divide this g1 of x by phi 3 of x we get reminder as this reminder as this p1 of x is equal to 0 p2 of x is equal to x plus x power 2 plus x power 5 plus x power 6 plus x power 8 plus x power 9 similarly p3 will be p3 of x will be x power 2 plus x cube plus x power 6 plus x power 7 plus x power 9 x plus x power 10 so this diagram i'll show you in the error trapping scheme so this is your trapping scheme. Okay. 
this is nothing but a simple concept as what we have done in the syndrome okay only the ranges vary so we'll have till 11 ranges so that is the difference okay wrapping scheme using custom C's okay. in the syndrome shift register we had seen Q is equal to 3 so we had only uh, S2, S1, S0 so here we will have 11 okay we will have 11 don't ask me why 11 okay if you ask also I will tell you so 11 is uh, N is uh, 23 if K is 12 so N minus K we will get N minus K Q is equal to 23 minus 12 11 so this is why we use 11 so so the maximum will be 11 here you can see in the generator polynomial also maximum is x power 11 okay so there will be 11 cyclic shifts or 11 shift registers so right from s power 10 s power 9 s power 8 s power sorry not s power s 10 s 9 S8, S7, S6, S5, S4, S3, S2, S1, and S0. So simply you can draw its logic by comparing them. Okay. So error trapping code. So similarly, we will be having for a buffer register. We'll have uh, G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, G6 till G. Since we have 11, so how much we get? So Q is equal to 11. So we will have till G9. Okay. So depending upon the problem, it may vary. So this is your test for error pattern. These are the thresholds. So we will get error trapping for 23 comma 12. Since till now we had seen 7 comma 4, it was easier. So now an extension for correcting errors up to 2 or 3, we can use 23 comma 12 goalie codes. Okay, you can see the explanation of this. When gate 1 and 3 are turned on, gates 2 and 4 are turned off, depending upon the problem, depending upon the G1 of X, it is being confined. And the received R of X is read into syndrome register and simultaneously into the buffer register so s of x syndrome will be formed and it will be read into three threshold gates then gates 1 4 5 are turned off gates 2 and 3 are turned on syndrome is tested for correcting so it will correct how does it correct if the weight of the codes is less than or equal to 3 errors are confined to 11 higher order positions of r of x and s of x matches the errors so thus, the RNS symbols are at the next 11 digits to come out of the buffer register. The output of the gate T0 turns gate 4 on and gate 3 off. So digits are read out one at a time from the buffer register. Then the digit in coming out of the syndrome register is added by modular 2 addition to the digit coming out of the buffer. So this will correct the errors. For example, if the weight of the the code is greater than 3. So S of X plus P2 of X will be tested. And if weight of that S of X plus P2 of X is less than or equal to 2, then S of X plus P2 of X will be the one bit shift of that shift register. So S1 dash, S2 dash of that, then S3, S4 will remain same because the gates are of gates 2 and 4 are on. So it will be an identical to the error error pattern. And a similar procedure will be followed if still the weight of the syndrome is greater than 3 and the weight of the next is also greater than 2. So that will continue till step 3. Since both the syndrome and uh, buffer registers are cyclic shifted once, and the gates 1, 4, 
five turned off and gets two three on the new contents of this syndrome register will be s1 of x and then step number two is repeated and until the decode operation is completed there will be 46 times there will be the buffer register will be shifted 46 times then gate 5 will be turned on and the vector in the buffer is shifted out to the data if there are three or less than three errors in the received vector the vector in the buffer at the end of the decoding will be transmitted which will be your transmitted code word if more than three errors in the received vector then the vector in the buffer at the end of the decoding will not be transmitted so this is how the 23 comma 12 goli code works so we have a search systematic search decoder also for systematic how do we do is that this decoding method is based on the fact that every pattern of three or fewer errors in 23 comma 12 can be cyclic shifted so that at most one error lies outside a specified 11 digit section the procedure for computing is that first we need to compute the syndrome from the received vector so yes we need to compute then we need to shift the syndrome and the received vector 23 times checking whether the weight of the syndrome ever falls to 3 or less if the weight of the syndrome falls less than or equal to 3 then the error pattern and correction can be done if it does not then the first received information digit is inverted first received information what we get is inverted and step 2 is repeated again until we get the errors to be less than or equal to 3 and we'll be checking for a syndrome of the weight to be 2 or less if it is found the first information digit is incorrect and the other two errors are specified by the syndrome this completes the decoding a simple systematic search decoder and if no syndrome of the weight 2 or less is found in step 3 the first information digit was originally correct so in this case the width is this bit must be reinverted. So repeat the again the step number three by inverting the second, third, and twelfth. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth information digits. Because not all the errors in the parity check section, an error must be corrected in this manner. So in every pattern of three or few errors, there will be at least one error that it will be corrected. So leaving the remaining error or errors within 11 successive positions. So when the digit corresponding to this error is inverted, the remaining errors are corrected as in an ordinary trapping. So when we compare with the Kasami decoder, the systematic search decoder will have the following advantage that is only weight sensing gate is required only one weight sensing gate is required so that is enough however the clock and timing circuitry would be more complex than the Kasumi decoder so always this can be used this goli codes can be used for error correction and detection for an BSC codes, binary symmetric codes. So next, shortened. I had given you an explanation about shortened codes. Is that n minus i comma k minus i? Okay. So n comma n minus i and k minus i. Introducing it in the n comma k cyclic codes. So introducing that will lead to of informations of n minus i okay i'll show you the diagram so circuit for multiplying r of x by p of x in terms of i
so a gate is there which is being received by y we are giving it to p0 p1 p2 p3 till p n k minus n minus k and p n minus k minus 1 so then we'll have the modular to addition with g1 g2 g3 till g of n minus k minus 2 till g of n k minus n minus k minus 1 so just now Sri Srikar has asked about g4 and g5 so that will be implemented in this shortened codes so there we can use that so the same diagram representation that we had seen in reverse it has been drawn that's all so decoding part for that we'll have a received we'll have a received input r of x we'll be using 31 bit buffer register for example because this is taken for a 31 comma 26 cyclic hamming codes so 31 comma 26 came in remembrance this 31 comma 26 cyclic codes will generate 31 minus 26 what do we get we get 5 so q will be 5 so 5 shift registers are enough you can see that this box is one shift 1 2 3 4 5 so we get 5 so all connected to an AND gate and it is given to an output r dash of x so gates will be there for the polynomial 1 plus x power 2 plus x power 5 you can see the generator polynomial is the maximum x power 5 because our degree of q is 5 so n is 31 k is 26 so 31 minus 26 we get 5 so q is 5 so g of x is 1 plus x power 2 plus x power 5 for this type of 31 comma 26 code Similarly, we can use 28 comma 23 short end codes also. We can use 28 comma 23 in order to obtain uh, what you call phi. Uh, Q value is equal to phi. You can use that as a linear type. So 28 comma 23 would be a linear type. Whereas 31 comma 26 can be used as your cyclic time. So the decoding for uh, cyclic time 28 sorry uh, 28 comma 23 is this. So you'll have five five shift registers one two three four five. So five shift registers since q is equal to 5 so you can draw like this and we'll be having 28 bit buffer register so next topic is cyclic product codes and quasi cyclic codes so that we'll see in the next class Uh, how do we get uh, phi of x, uh, phi 1 of x, phi 2 of x or phi 3 of x? It would be derived from the question of uh, the polynomial. Okay. Or for this, uh, what do you call it? I think it's in short end. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, it is the goalie codes, right? So you're talking about this phi one of x. It is chosen for this particular problem. So if you choose that assumption, you should choose as that it doesn't generate any error. Like that, it will be taken. Values of phi one, phi two, phi three. Already 
they had done and solved it and had found that these are the values these are the values of polynomials phi 1 of x phi 2 of x and phi 3 of x which is used for Kasami used by Kasami decoder if you use a Kasami decoder you should have phi 1 of x is equal to 0 phi 2 of x is equal to phi 2 of x is equal to wait, uh, x power 5 and uh, phi 3 of x is equal to x power 6 specific i think you would have got the answer okay okay i'll uh, circulate you the uh, uh, attendance sheet i'll circulate you the attendance sheet kindly await in the meeting 